Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1151. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to see how to get not just one, but two tables and their field names into a pivot table field list. Now, this is going to require Excel 2013. Now, why in the world would you want to get two tables into a pivot table field list? Well, check this out. We have product here and revenue. But we need to, over in the pivot table, summarize revenue by category. Now, normally, without Excel 2013, you do a VLOOKUP, where you'd have your VLOOKUP look at the products. And notice there's lots of duplicates here. So every time VLOOKUP sees Bellin, it goes over here to the first column. This is a unique list of our products. Finds Bellin's, goes and gets the category, and brings it back. But we don't have to do that anymore. We can just put both of these tables into our pivot table field list, drag category to the pivot table row areas, and then revenue down to the values. So check this out. You are going to have to have an Excel table. I've already converted this one to a table, but let's convert this. Control T, Enter. Now I'm going to go up and name this. You definitely want to name this. We can do it manually that way with our ribbons or Alt J T A. I'm going to call this D product enter. All right, here we go. Insert pivot table. Or we can simply Alt N V, and I'm going to put it on a new sheet, so I'm going to hit Enter. And instantly, oh, wait a second. I only see one table. Oh, here it is. We're going to click on the More Tables. And it gives us this message. It'll only come up in 2013. It says, do you want to create a new pivot table? Well, yeah, of course. To use multiple tables in your analysis, the new pivot table needs to be created using the data model. Now, here's the thing. You don't even have to have power pivot, which is kind of hard to get because the data model, the engine behind power pivot, is in all versions of Excel 2013. So this is great. I'm going to click Yes. Sure, of course. I. I want to put it into the data model. And there it is. Now we can see both tables. I'm going to go up to Product, drag Category down to Rows. Look at that. That is totally awesome. Now I'm going to drag Revenue down to Values. What? I'm getting the grand total in each cell. Hey, look at this. This yellow message is very polite. It says, hey, relationship between the two tables may be needed. Yeah, this is like doing VLOOKUP, but in the pivot table field list. I'm going to create this. Instantly, our relationship window comes up. Now here's the trick. You're going to have to put the actual lookup table as the second table. That's the product table. So I'm going to click the drop down and select product, then come over and select product. Now remember that second table, which is our lookup table, has a first column of product. All of us that know how to use VLOOKUP know that the first column has a unique list. Over in databasing, it's called a primary key. Now we have this set up fine. We come over, we get our revenue table. And look, it pops in product. And watch this when I click OK. Boom, there it is. We are dragging and dropping from two different tables, creating a summarization report with a pivot table without using VLOOKUP. Now, I never like that row labels, so I'm going to go up to Design, Report Layout, Show in Tabular or Outline. There we have our field name, right click, Number Formatting. And if you know anything about Power Pivot, we can add number formatting more universally if you have Power Pivot. Here, because we don't have access to the Power Pivot uh, Managed Data Model window, we're going to have to do each field that we drop into the pivot table, add the number formatting. Number format that. Now, another point is this is a second pivot table. If you see over here, this one's still here. If we were to uh, look over here at this pivot table, this is an Excel pivot table. We haven't, the data from this isn't coming from the data model, so we don't see both of those tables. This one has been dumped into the data model, so we're allowed to create relationships and work between tables. 
that table right there without the black line means it's not added to the data model. That was our actual table over here. But these two with the black lines means they're in the data model. Now I'm going to double click and name this. I'm going to call it data model pivot table, or a, in essence, it's not really a, pi a power pivot pivot table in the sense that we don't have that installed, or I do, but it, I haven't accessed it. So if, you're, um, if you don't have Power Pivot, it really is a data model pivot table, whereas this one would be an Excel pivot table. They're two different things. All right, that's pretty cool. Using Excel 2013, we can have two tables in our field list. All right, we'll see you next trick.